So the BTD6 map editor has been out for a few weeks now, and I assumed that I'd see some crazy awesome maps, but I did not expect to see what I see here. There are truly some remarkable artists in the map making space. And the fact that they were given a chance to create some of these marvelous masterpieces is super cool. So I'm going to go through a few. Even just clicking on the most liked screen, this first page has some crazy, crazy things that I would never have expected to see. For instance, the very first one is Monkey Meadow but a different angle. They made Monkey Meadow purely 3D and this is awesome. So I'm going to go through a few of these so we can see some of the craziest custom maps in Bloons TD6, or at least the ones that I thought were crazy. If you found some that I didn't show in this video, definitely leave the codes below so I can check them out. I thought I was going to have to dive super far into this to find some really cool, amazing maps. And then sure enough, on trending, the very first one, if you have not seen this yet, is by... Was that just I, I, I? Is that your name? All right, but it's called Halloween Still Life. And this is the coolest thing. Like, look at this. They drew a skull, used the pumpkins and blew them up to make them bigger over here. Use the plants around it. It's this beautiful dish that you'd have on your center table when you're about to eat a Halloween dinner. At least that's what I take it from. My wife does this kind of decorations during the Halloween time. Where does this map even go? And that's what's really cool about the map maker is that I don't think people are going to try to make the hardest maps, at least some of them. I think they're just trying to make the best art and they succeeded because look at this there's like different flowers as the the layers of the candy corn candle that is genius now the most like page is a really easy spot to find some of the most amazing maps in this because every single one or every other one is something that you just cannot believe with your eyes like this is a first monkey shooter this is something you'd see in like the legend of zelda where you do the little bow and arrow shooting range and it looks just like a little monkey shooting range this is so cool or for instance this one they made a map of the world which the monkeys may get lost on because they don't live in the same reality or the same world that we do. Or this one, which looks like an exact replica of Plants vs. Zombies. It is just so cool to see how they use the tools that we were given to make insane things. Now, Ninja Kiwi did give us a lot of tools to work with, but there could be even more. So the fact that people are using what we do have to make things like this is just insane. This one popped up in my search and I just thought this was one of the coolest things I've seen. So we see a lot of people drawing on them. I saw a Squidward one, I saw a Pikachu one, an Among Us one where they're just using the map to draw. And this they made like an actual graph distance from start and <laughs> distance to exit. And the balloons are just going to follow this simple line graph going down. I guess they're basing it off the economy right now because <laughs> that's what it looks like. And then you can just place monkeys anywhere and it just, oh man, this is so cool. Or for those of you who are Sonic fans, we have Bloon Hill Zone by Absence. And this looks like Green Hill Zone. Like, not exactly, obviously, but when I saw this and I saw this little spinning thing, I knew exactly it was from Sonic because I was like about like four or five years old when Sonic the Hedgehog 2 first came out. And so all I knew how to do was just go around the circle because it amused me. And I did that a lot. So I'll remember that for the rest of my life. And the attention to detail they put in, like this is a little bridge right here with a little house. There's another waterfall. They try to give it that depth perception, like going a little back further. And it's just, it's crazy. So are you guys who making these crazy maps? Are you game developers? Are you artists? Are you just taking what you see here and this is kind of sparking your awesome creativity abilities because some of these are just insane. And I know I'm going to be missing a bunch because we can't just go over all of them, right? That would be it for hours. But like, look at this one is a straight checkers board by zero. That is so cool. How does it play though? I don't think people have in mind how the map plays, right? They're just kind of going for it or, oh no joke, you're, are you jumping over them? Sort of, right? Like you're sort of, yeah, you're kind of winning. Like it's not exact, but like, it's pretty good. Now <laughs> they went like, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I love that. I've been really enjoying these types of maps. I've seen a bunch from BTD5 and sort of low key, don't tell Ninja Kiwi, but I feel like they did this on purpose because now they don't have to make as many maps. Cause if someone makes an exact replica of the pumpkin patch from Blue CD5, they don't even have to make it. We can just be excited about this one for a long time. And I think this is so cool. I used to love this map, by the way. I think it was a beginner map, so I played it a lot. Cause BTD5 came out when I was a little bit younger and I wasn't that great. So I would just kind of play the easier maps over and over. And if I could beat them, I felt so cool. Isab's Labyrinth. Tell me it follows the path of the maze. That would be so cool. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. And it's going to go here. Do I even know how to beat a maze? Am I that smart? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It's going to go over here, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. <laughs> this is the longest map in the game. Let's be real. And where do you place towers? Only on the green. Are you kidding me? So how would you even beat this? Can you pop that? Okay. You can use those to pop. This is a really fun map and I'd like to play this one to be honest. 
But let's dive deeper into this. We're on page five. You guys can all see these and there are some amazing ones in the first five pages, but let's go to the very far back and kind of work our way forward. Maybe not page two, let's do like page 239 because just because it's not the most liked, it just means that it might have not been seen yet, right? Let's help them get up to the front pages if they're awesome. But I think you have to beat it to actually like it, right? And so if that's the case, uh, I don't have the patience to beat like 400 maps. So we're just going to kind of look at them. So this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Tonald Tang, Ultra Jug. I'm assuming he built this just so it could be like the best Ultra Juggernaut spot ever. Where did the balloons come from? Okay, that is pretty cool. So where would you put them to have it? Okay, that's really cool. So I decided to save up a little bit of money to test this map out because it looked really exciting. And these have been going back and forth. This is probably it's like 30th time. So this map was designed specifically for Ultra Juggernaut so it can never lose. You could probably go to round 1 million with this. So here's the appeal of this map. It can ricochet so much that literally nothing can get past it. And I would love to take this to the moon. This would be a fun one. But this is what I meant though. Just unique maps that have unique properties where the creator thought, hey, I can finally make the Ultra Juggernaut amazing. Now I'm sure we can find some unique awesome ones in the most liked the very last pages. But let's check out what's trending because that usually means that it's, it's trending. Honestly, that means a lot of people like it. And if a lot of people like it, it should be good. That doesn't explain half the videos on TikTok, but for here, it should mean that they're good. Bloon shoplift from Walmart. Oh my goodness. They are going to go in the store and then go out of the store. Oh my gosh. And they come from all these different directions. How do you cover up the track in this mode? I didn't even know you could do that. I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out, but the fact that you can cover up where the track is going is really, really cool. And then you got this pigeon on fire. And this is a very accurate description of Walmart. Just literally the last place you want to go. Like it's just beat up. It's banged up. People are shoplifting everywhere. I personally, when I go to Walmart, I love it because the prices are so cheap. But then I also hate myself for being there because there's always something I don't want to see or there's always something going on at Walmart. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of these maps are awesome, but what makes them trending? And why is there only five pages of trending? Who do you have to pay to get on the trending page? Like how did Vicious Kitten Cyan's Rabbit get onto trending? It's just a map of everything that probably goes on for an hour. Two so made all girls are the same on the trending page. What does he mean by this? What is that? Is that like a baby carriage? Cause chicks love babies or is that if I had to guess, it's probably like money, right? Some form of money. Sorry, ladies out there. But I love this, how it's like this guy's looking in on the scene. You got to explain to me what this is actually representing, but I love the artwork. This is, do you know how long this probably took? These people are crazy. I can't believe you can come up with this stuff. All right, let's fast forward a little bit here. I, I imagine page 69 will have something good. It has to, right? That's what everybody, there is no object limit. So they put 3 million foxes on this map. That's pretty smart. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get out of hand here. This could break the game. You can place anywhere essentially other than on the track. That's too much for my eyes. Warning on that one. This one really blew my mind when I saw it by Sushi called longest map question mark. And I'm assuming it means it's going to be a very long map, but just look at what is going on here. The amount of time it took to drag out each object and then make it smaller is beyond crazy. They had to take all of these. What is there? Three, 400 items and make them all smaller. That is crazy. But we got like middle of the road over here. One of the water maps here. We got like cracked over here. At least the maps of them, right? Like it's kind of like a thing of it. We got carved over here. I don't think that's what they're going for, but that's what I see when I look at this broad thing. But the fact that there's like an ending, I hope this is the ending spot in the middle. I think that's really cool. But each of these different colors are going to be a different track. So we're going to be here for a minute. Can you place in this little thing? Oh, you can place in there. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, actually. Let's have a ring of fire right here. But I have not yet lost a life. So what's going on? And where are the spikes? It's still going. If I wore a watch, I would count the time, but it is still going. This is a long map. Can you re-edit your maps? Or like, what if this person designed all this and went like, hey, I actually want to make it a viable map. I don't want to make it that long. Can they go back and like make the map shorter? Or are you just done and you're stuck with what you made? Hey, another BTD5 map, Space Truck, and there you go. This one by Mailer Ceylon is just a piece of work. This is so cool. What is that famous art? This is based off of that famous picture. I can't tell you what it's called because I'm an uncultured swine. And what's the point of these up here? Is that part of the photo as well? Or is it just a place to place towers because you probably can't place them anywhere? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's just a place to place. It's just a place to place them. That's what we're going with here. Cole Bloon Dragon. This has to be one of my favorites. 
Oh, this is so sick. Who looks like Jack Skellington on here? I mean, closest would probably be this one, right? Like all the way down at the bottom, the Prince of Darkness. But this is close enough. He has a little skull face on. This is Jack Skellington, Nightmare Before Christmas. And then where's Sally at? This one kind of looks like a Sally. All right, there's Jack and Sally right there. This is a good one. This is awesome. And the best part about it is that it is simple. They just use like some shading and some backgrounds. And it probably didn't take too long, but it's awesome. Like this is so cool. Oh, and is that the end of the track? Or it bounces back too. Oh, that's a really fun one. So you could just place, if you could get like attack in here, can you though? Or how about something cool like a, a boomerang? Yeah, this will be super satisfying, just having a boomerang. And of course I don't have camo. He's too good though, so I don't even get to see it go around the center here. No way, Motto made Pokemon, a Pokemon battle thing here. That is so cool. Fight, bag, run, and then what's this one? Like it's being worked on? And it's bunny versus slime. This is so cool. And it's like shooting. Oh my gosh. What's it doing? Like a thunder shock? That is so freaking cool. I love this one. And then the HP, they use like little, it looks like hay bales. And then some hedges for the HP sign. That is so cool. Axo is giving us dimensions. And I really wanted to see this one just because I want to see how it works. That is so cool to look at. The way they use the black, like... What are, what are those called? Overlays? The way they use them? Oh, stamps. The way they stamped it to make it like have this dark, mysterious shading around the edges is so cool. So it goes through here and then out to there. And then I'm assuming here. Where's this next one going? Here to here? Yeah, here to here. Oh, duh. Why am I being like stupid about it? Of course they have to follow a track. I thought it was going to like pop up over here. I'm so dumb, but that is so cool. That looks really good. Some of these are so creative. Mirage Canyon by NWL. NWL. That's how that was pronounced. And that is so cool right here. No way. So it's going to go up, around, and then down. <laughs> that is so cool. These are so awesome. I'm going to sit here and just be... I can do this for hours. I can just look at all these for hours because they're so cool and so unique. You see some of them start to kind of like venture over like people are getting their creativity from others doing that but you know what whatever it takes to get us to the next level of crazier things because then you get something like this like a 3d like star fox type game are this gonna go down oh no way it's being launched down like by an alien oh that is so cool who comes up with this stuff if you saw my map if you haven't seen that video yet like I thought it was so good, but it was garbage child's play compared to what these are. And that was FMFNS, by the way. Dude, could this be any cleaner? Like, could this be any cleaner of a Ninja Kiwi sign? Like, like it's almost like, it's like perfect. It's perfect. That is so cool. Can you count how many times I've said that's so cool in this game or in this video? But I mean, there's a reason for it. It's just so cool. We can like fill it in. Oh, it's behind them. That's cool. So it's on top. I like that. You can just hide the little monkeys in there. And then you just get some super cute ones. This one is super cute. I used to have a pet turtle. It didn't look as cute as this one, the little smile, but it was still a cool little turtle I had or tortoise. I guess would be his proper name. He liked lettuce and cottage cheese. And then there's a little chicken over here just pecking away. That is awesome. And the way that they use the like bridges and stuff to make its turtle shell is just so clever. I would have just literally put a green, like I would have used this green background right here and maybe put a couple spots and wrote Kawabunga on it. And that would have been my turtle. What in the world? Boeroki did Oppenheimer. That's a big old A-bomb being. That is so insane. Oh, and even got the little death frogs over here with all the little death signs like, hey, don't go this way. And then all oh, the way they use the fire and the flames and this is that steam like making it this big old mushroom cloud. That is so cool. I've always been so intrigued by artists and just whenever I meet an artist, I love just picking their brain and seeing how they think and talk and act because you got to be on a different wavelength to come up with this kind of stuff. I'm telling you. Oh, and it's called Poppenheimer. Oh my goodness. That is so awesome. And if you want to see some more Bloon CD6 content, check out this video where we find out how fast we can blackboard the map resort from start to finish.